Hi, Lonnie Vaughn with Emotiva here with another quick tech talk today, but today we're going to talk about differential reference and what that really means. But in order to understand what differential reference means, let's take it back to the very basics. Let's go over what all the different terminology is that's out there and I'll explain it and then you'll know exactly what you need so that you can make the informed decision for yourself. So first off, what do you hear all the time? Well, you got RCA, you got unbalanced, you got balanced, you got differential, you know, uh, single-ended. So let's just make a list. RCA, unbalanced, uh, single-ended. Down here, what do we got? XLR. Let's go to the counterparts. Balanced, differential and differential reference. What do they mean? These are all interchangeable. They all mean the same thing. When you're talking about RCA, unbalanced, single-ended, they all mean the same thing. The only reason that there are different terms is simply because they're used contextually in a different way depending on what it is you're talking about. But what it, all this boils down to is simply this. Let's take the RCA as an example. All your audio, that's a horrible sine wave, there you go, is carried down a center line and then it has a shield wrapped around it and that shield goes to ground. So all your audio goes this way and out. That's single-ended. That's also referred to as unbalanced. So everything's carried on one wire. All your power, all your signal chain, everything. The shield is used to try and keep noise out. It's also used as a ground reference between different pieces of equipment. When you're talking XLR, balance, differential, what does that mean? Well, we've got a wire just like up here and it's got your sine wave on it, but there's a second wire and it has the same sine wave just 180 degrees out of phase. And the whole purpose of this is so that when it gets to wherever it's going, whether that's going from a source unit to a preamp, from the preamp to the amp, wherever it's going, when it gets to the back end, it takes this signal and it flips it back over. So you have two signals and they get summed together to give you a larger signal. How does this benefit over this? Well, this is trying to keep noise out of your system. So as it's going along, the signal's running down the line. The shield is trying to keep the noise, electrical noise, from every room, from other pieces of equipment, from actually getting into the chain. In a balanced system, we don't care. The noise comes in, and it comes in at both of them simultaneously at the same point. Because what's going to happen is, when it gets here, and this gets inverted or flipped, this noise point is now out of phase with the original signal. And therefore the noise gets canceled out and just goes away. And so therefore it becomes much quieter, more efficient, better way of transmitting the audio from point to point. Now that's just when you're talking about wires. What about gear? All right, so let's take a box. I don't care if it's a CD player, a streamer, a preamp, whatever. Every piece of gear has a certain amount of noise in it. And because of that, if the signal, as it's moving through the box, doing whatever the box does, there's a certain amount of noise. Well, that noise simply just moves on out the box, moves on to the next chain, whether that's an amplifier or whatever's next in your chain. If it's differential, same thing. That noise is still there, but the same principle applies. When it gets to wherever the end point is, the noise gets canceled out and goes away. So we're, in this case, this noise does not go away. You can't get rid of it. So as it's running through a box single-ended, the noise from one box moves into the next box, into the next box, and they all start adding together until you finally get 
whatever your end product is. In a differential system, as it goes, all that noise from each box simply gets canceled out at the back end and now you have a very pure clean signal. It's not to say these aren't clean. I mean everything that you design these days you try to make it as clean as possible but the reality is this goes from this to this and it just adds up until it finally gets to the, let's say this is the amp. Now at the amp stage what's an amp do? An amp is a multiplier. It's going to take whatever this signal is and it's going to turn it into this signal. And all the noise from all these little boxes just got added on top of the audio. Because an amp doesn't know the difference between noise or actual signal. It just is an amplifier. So things come in and they get multiplied. With a differential amp, we actually have two amp stages. And so this one is sending out a very large sine wave. This one's sending out the same inverted and then the actual coil in the speaker is where the noise gets canceled out. And so if your whole system is balanced you're going to get the pure signal at the back end because all the noise that happened all along the chain line just went away. It just disappeared. Now let's say you've got a mixed chain, okay? You've got a single-ended system, but you've got a balanced amp at the back end. Like that. So when you do this, these two are actually adding together the noise as it was normally going along. But the benefit is, at least if part of your system is differential, that noise that was generated in that box and was picked up in those wires as it was moving along, at least that much of the signal chain gets canceled out at the back end and becomes really pure and clean. We can't get rid of what came proceeding to that because it just is what it is. It gets summed into the line. So if you can use a differential thing, whatever that is, whether that's your preamp or your amplifier or whatever, you're going to be far better off at any point by putting those in there. If you can't, it is what it is. It's just like any piece of gear. Um, now what makes differential reference different from just say balanced or differential systems? Because there's a lot of home theater processors, preamps out there, they've got XLR in and they've got XLR out. But that doesn't mean that they're actually balanced. They're not truly differential all the way through. A lot of companies do this. In fact, the majority of them do this. You're going to come in with a balanced signal. And what they're going to do is what they call, uh, they're going to do a summing node inside the box and they're going to turn that balanced into an unbalanced signal and then that's going to feed through the box until it gets to the far back end and then just before it gets to the back end then they're going to do a phase split and make it look like balanced coming back out again. Now why do they do this? Because it doesn't from a technical standpoint, that doesn't make sense. The reason they do it is cost. When you run a balance, a truly balanced differential system, like we do, when we say our gear is differential reference, that means when it comes in, it stays balanced all the way through from in to out. When you do that, then you get the full benefit of what a truly differential system does. Doing it this way is cheaper because to do a true balance all the way through means double the parts. I'll give you a good example. Our RMC1, 
RMC1L. They have 16 channels of output and the entire system chain is differential reference all the way through, which means from the DAC, through the volume controls, to the output stages, everything is true differential all the way through. Now at 16 channels, and each channel has two drive stages, that means we've got 32 different drive, or drive stages within that box. It takes an awful lot of parts, awful lot of time and very careful engineering to make that work. Doing it like this, where you come in balanced, and then you make it look like balance going out, is a cheap, easy way for companies to give you a quasi-balanced system. Now it has some benefits to it, whereas any noise picked up preceding to that gets canceled here, so it is quieter going in. But any noise in the box itself just gets multiplied when it goes out. It doesn't ever get canceled out at that point. So pros and cons. If you're true differential reference and companies will tell you if it is, just like we do, because believe me, it's a big deal. A lot of time and money goes into making these things. If it's truly differential all the way through, then you get the full benefit as it when it gets to your speakers you're going to have the quietest system possible the most accurate and the most power out of your system okay um, if they're doing these kind of conversions and just make it look like balanced in and out they probably won't tell you they'll just call it balanced for all practical purposes so if you really want the best possible signal chain there is you start at the source, your preamp, whether that's a home theater processor, two-channel stereo preamp, your amplifiers, all the way or all the way through, need to be true differential reference from in to out. And then when it gets to the speaker at the back end, every bit of noise that it picked up all along the way just magically disappears and you get the best possible signal there is. So hopefully that helps explain it. RCA, unbalanced, single ended, all mean the same thing. It's all going down one wire. XLR, balanced, differential, differential reference, essentially operate the same way. What you're looking for for maximum signal quality is a differential reference setup. But anywhere in the chain, if you put a, a balanced system in there because maybe you don't have balanced amps or maybe you do have balanced amps but everything before it's unbalanced you're still going to get some of the benefit as it moves through the system so there you go hopefully that will help you make an informed decision and uh, from all of us at Emotiva, happy listening <music>